Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Racha Kodash, and the honest elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, all right, that are upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, in truth and in sincerity. For by only truth and in, and sincerity will you be able to enter into everlasting life. No other way. This is um. It's the book of Matthew's, chapter nineteen. In the 29th verse. Or may I start at the 28th verse. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, That ye which have followed me, What does it mean to follow Yahweh Shah? Follow his ordinances, his doctrine. All right, doctrine of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Granted by whom? Um, high priest uh, Arya, King Masha, I preach Jaiqua and a few other prominent figures in this well as Abba Bivens. All right. So this is um the heritage in which we have uh, came from. This is the heritage in which we came from. All right. So it says, um, in the reads, it says, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Listen to that, man. Let me read that again. See, Satan cannot take our joy. Because if our joy is in Mashiach, Yahweh shall our Lord, we can't be compromised despite the circumstance. Verse 28, it says, and Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Say we're going to sit on thrones if we be a disciple, a follower of Yahweh Shah. And it said we should judge the nation of Israel. All right? Judge the nation of Israel. All right? And via the judgment of the nation of Israel, peace should be placed upon the planet Earth. All right? The planet Earth shall dwell in peace and safety. All right? Let me see here if I can. There we go. That way we won't have any more um, interruptions. Okay. So it says, verse 29, it says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, <clears throat> For my name's sake, what's the name? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rachakudash. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shah. And we do prophesy, preach, and give glory in those names in the Rachakudash, which is in the Holy Spirit. All right, there is none other and there is none above than the name in which I have just professed. Verse 29, 
and everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. So you you can't prioritize the carnal attachments in which you have developed in this life. You must prioritize the will of the Heavenly Father, which is to what? Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, okay? To uphold the commandments, to uphold his name, despite persecution, to maintain your integrity uh, and fidelity to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and be and, and, and we have uh, we are pledged and sworn to His name through the, the blood covenant of um uh, of Moses at the mounts. All right, and it was also Abraham willing to make a blood covenant, but the Lord spared them for a time, and He in this period as Yahweh Shai. He made that ultimate sacrifice to bring forth the salvation of the nation of Israel. They say, it shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life mm. via the sacrifice, via his sacrifice and via the sacrifice in which we're going to have to make. All right, we're going to have to make sacrifices, man, in order to receive a kingdom, in order to receive uh, the will of the Heavenly Father and the Spirit. Verse 30, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, shall be first. So those of us in, um, in distraught, um, turbulent, uncomely, unfeasible, uncomfortable scenarios and situations and trials and tribulations, holding it down, that's actually in the trenches, in the spirit and in the flesh. The Lord is going to give us rest. We should be first while our enemies, the infidels, those who have risen up against us with their idols, they should not be triumphant, but they should be last at the end. For better is the end of the thing than the beginning, as it is written. And it is better for the kingdom of the nation of Israel than the end which shall be wickedness for the heathens. Because how they have conducted themselves on the planet Earth and have mistreated the nation of Israel, which are God's chosen people, Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shah's chosen people. All right. The people of the Bible. But you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. All right. And those who are scattered abroad. We have brothers of Great Millstone. We're the only camp that is actually global. That's feasibly global. All right. Not through taking a, a, a plane trip and handing out flyers. All right. But by the Yurim and the Thum. All right, a warrior wa thamyam, that perfection of light, and through the unicorn, all right, the the word has been spread out. All right, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We have brothers in Tanzania. We have brothers in Romania. We have brothers throughout the British Isles, Scotland. All right, probably quite possibly some of descendants of the Bruce and those fellows. Those mighty fellows of that medieval period. We have brothers uh, in, in, in Sicily. We have brothers in Rome. We have brothers in, throughout West Africa. We have brothers throughout uh, uh, the, the so-called Asia Minor. We have brothers throughout the Caribbean Isles. We have many brothers who don't even record. But they prophesy and they are in position. And on Yahweh Shah's command, they will exercise magnificently via the light. Get some more scriptures. This is the tabernacle of David in which we're speaking of. That thing was spoken of and written about and rewritten about and turned into fables and scenarios and passed on from generations into cultures upon cultures into people upon people. This is that actual light in which was being spoken about from the beginning. And we are just grateful to be a part of this. What the Lord has granted and the peace in which he has begotten upon us. We are at peace now. Even in this 
turbulent situation, we are at peace because we have faith and hope in Yahweh Shah and everlasting life. That's why we laugh in the videos. That's why we drink yan yan together. That's why we hold down the tabernacle as it, as it was um, in the days of old because we have come back together in unison, in psychological unison, all right? Spiritual unison, all right? So this is, um, this is the book of John, St. John, chapter 12, verse 25. It says, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world should keep it unto life eternal. Let's break that down. Oh my goodness, go to verse 28 real quick. Father, glorify thy name. And his name is not most high. You, you guys are being seen to be false prophets. It's becoming more clear and more evident. His name is not most high. And his son's name is not Christ. And when it says glorify thy name, you being a Hebrew Israelite, you're supposed to be able to be that ancient character to go back to those ancient characters and deal with that correctly and orchestrate and verbalize that correctly. But you don't. You are a, a, a degenerate fruit that is of a hybrid stock. Which, oh, seed of Canaan and not Judah, not even professing the proper name of the Heavenly Father, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you should expect to have some form of power and authority in regards to this celestial being. This body is not of this world. We are of the heavens. And we deal of the heavens. Using Christ in these last days. Utilizing the terminology Christ, man. You guys are false prophets. I'm telling you how it is. Verse 25, it says, he that loveth his life, meaning you love what? Your cars, <laughs> your money, uh, your comfortability, your food, your children, uh, your house, your job, your jewelry. Mm -hmm. Anything that you can think of, if you prioritize it above the Heavenly Father and if you compromise the will of the Heavenly Father within you by overindulging in any other substance psychologically or physically, then it is written, it says, shall lose it. This is a very straight gate we're walking on. This is a narrow path. This is not... a America, where is, you see is the, uh, no child left behind. There's going to be a lot of people left behind in this thing of ours, man. A lot of people left behind. And if you are not of the elect, and if you are not walking that path correctly, it's over. And at any instant, the angels of Allah Shadja, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, can be sent and to do a job and, be, and, and do your way. And that will be that. For the hour of judgment is at hand. Yes, Jacob's trouble. And then these false prophets refuse to profess and teach. There is a Jacob's trouble and it's about to fastly commence. A time of no times. World War II will look like a sandbox in comparison to the mortality and the, the sheer carnage that is about to transpire on this planet Earth. And these people are saying there's no Jacob's trouble. Civil rights will not be able to compare. Slavery will not be able to compare to the hour in which we're about to come into. They're about to push their agenda of extermination. Of complete annihilation of the seed of Israel. And you niggas are not warning the sheep. You are giving an uncomely and an uncertain sound from the trumpet. Having the people confused and disarrayed. Not letting your yay be a yay and your nay be in the nay. Feeble hands. Silly looks on your faces, man. Because the time is coming for what? They're pushing the agenda with the Mad Max. They're pushing the agenda with the RFID microchip. And you got these so-called leaders, man. General Your Hunter, he gonna stand up there or sit up there with that simple look on his face, man. Stuttering. He telling you to take the chip. He, he can't even say it properly over his stuttering. 
you need to hear the name of the Lord being said or a scripture being brought out in the entirety of the video, man. Showing his backing. And they all go to perish, all that Paul prophesied, Yahweh Shah prophesied, and the prophets before. They all gonna perish, man. All right. And they're gonna fall into that, that great ditch. And when we know what that ditch is, when we know what Hades is, those of us in Great Minnesota, we go into the Greek, we know what the Hades is. Leave it at that. Verse 26, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. If the Lord Yahweh honors us, you, you do understand there's literally nothing. Nothing that can come against you. And, I'm, and I speak to all those who believe they can come against me individually and us as a body. You will be grinded into pieces by the Heavenly Father's power, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. You will be put into torments in which you never even conceived, nor will even fathom until you start to realize them in your actual existence. Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh Shah, Tlak, Rayim, Wa Nashim, Wa Abadim, Wa Haragim, Al Kal Arwamim, Wa Gawayim. But it would be better if I prophesied and speak into tongues. So let's get another scripture. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So we want it with whoever. If you were enemy of Yahweh, we're coming. If you were enemy of Yahweh, on the throne of Yahweh, you best to get to running. Damn it. We here for our God and our power, and we stand on that. Whoever wanted, it, they can be shown to be an example. Call the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, I'll shout it. I'm going to finish up in the book of Psalms. Let's finish up in the book of Psalms. All right. Now, this is the book of Psalms. All right. Chapter, let's see here. Chapter 85, verse 10, and it reads, it says, mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Now, when has this been done? When has mercy and truth when have they met together? Is there any mercy in this world in which we live in? Or truth? Is there any truth? If there was truth, why would we need fact checkers? If there was truth, why is there so much debate and strife? If there's so much truth, why is there so much division? If there's so much truth. Righteousness and peace. Is there any peace? In this society, in this world, the governmental peace, is there, uh, is there intercontinental peace or are there intercontinental ballistic missiles? Righteousness, please, spare yourself. That is speaking of the time of the kingdom, a prophecy to come. And when the nation of Israel shall rule and have power and dominion and glory, then mercy is going to be enacted for the nation of Israel. And then truth is going to be enacted. Righteousness. Peace. That's what Jerusalem means. Yasharalawam in the Hebrew meaning teachings of peace or teaching of peace. All right. We, as the nation of Israel, 
we're all about peace. But our enemies, the infidels, those who come up against our God, they are for war. And at the very same time, Daniel, let's get it. Let's get it. It's the book of Daniel. But that very soon is about to be ended and liquidated out of planet Earth. Mm. This is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, which Michael, which Mayakala, which mean who is like God, who is like our power, all right? <laughs> he is the archangel, or the archangel, excuse me, archangel, all right? And he's going to stand up, all right? Because he's a prince, why? Because he's a brother of ours, because we are also princes. The name Israel, Yashar Allah, meaning he is a prince of power. Because the angels, we go into the book of Revelation and tell you that the angels are our brothers, okay? The Israelites' brothers, the elect brothers, okay? Not you heathens. It says, the great prince would stand up for the children of thy people. That's possessive. If you, if you, if you understand written language or spoken language, you understand these are possessive pronouns. Thy, come on now. All of this scholarship in America, and we just, we just stumble over the most simplistic things. Thy people, which is the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, man. All right? It says, and there should be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book, which is speaking of the elect, which is speaking of the elect. Thy people should be delivered, the elect of who? The nation of Israel. Are we delivered? <coughs> Excuse me. Are we delivered right now? Is the nation of Israel delivered? They still, you, you definitely can't say we delivered. You still got those Israelis with they uh, false propaganda. They trying to bring some Kushites over from uh, Eritrea or Ethiopia talking about they the tribe of Dan. Where is that in the Torah? Or the Torah, the Torah properly pronounced. Where is that? You guys are devils. You are Amalekites, you're Edomites, you're imposters, and Lord is going to judge you uh, uh, at, the, uh, at the coming of Yahweh Shah. You don't matter what you do, you you still going to be destroyed. Yahweh and he going he going he going to do a he going to run on a new one on you too. He going just for that thought that you just had right there. He going he going he going you going to pay for that thought. And you going to pay for everything that you've done and everything that you that you shall do. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kadash, Shalom, and keep the faith.